I'm studying uh, disaster recovery studies at Canadian Mennonite University. My name is Mallory Shack, and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba. My name is Jordan Braun. I'm from uh, East Coast Canada, um, a little place called Sussex, New Brunswick. I am in Dulzura, California, uh, doing our practicum for our disaster management course, and we are helping rebuild homes after after the Harris fires that happened in 2007. So, uh, yeah, pounding nails and framing and building houses. For the specific course here, we took a disaster recovery studies course, which kind of does a broad overview of what happens in North America when a disaster happens. So kind of a lot of the management, a lot of following the money, where does the money come from, where does the money go, and how does that get determined. I and mean, also all the different organizations that are active um, when a disaster happens, and, you know, how each uh, organization interacts with each other, how people come together when a disaster happens. Being on site, I've been able to see how an actual MDS site runs, seeing the project director and how they do their everyday duties, and then what us volunteers are meant to do. I've also gained a lot of leadership skills. The first month we were picked as being crew leaders and had roles as that, and so actually the second day I was kind of put into that role and I didn't really know what to expect from it, but I've definitely grown since then and now I know um, the kind of efforts you need to put in in order to actually build a home. Within the classes you just hear about the cleanups and the rebuilds and you don't really, when you're on site you have that communication with the homeowners, you have the communication with the area that you're staying in for a period of time and so you kind of you need to, yes, read the textbooks and do all the paperwork, but you also need the field experience too. You're able to go out, meet people, help them restore hope and faith in their life, help them know there's a future out there, even though everything in their life has been destroyed and it's gone. I've come really close to the Thompson family. By being close with them and listening to their story of what happened in times of the fire, it, you know, allowed me to kind of experience that because I've never gone through a fire before any major disaster. It was very upsetting to hear their story, very emotional, so by listening to that and them being able to open up to me, it's, their relationship has gotten stronger. You've all become part of our family forever. Because of MDS and because of Salvation Army and the recovery team, I'm starting to put my life back together. I'm going to cut this ribbon. I walk through this door. We got home again. After all they've been through and losing their home and all their memories they have, now they have a home that we've built to start their memories fresh from. I think that's very special for all of us to have been there to see that experience it. I'll definitely still keep in touch with them, but yeah, it'll be hard to go. <laughs> disaster recovery studies and the disasters I think are going to be really big uh, issues in the future and uh, we need to be prepared. MDS, I feel that they are very organized and know what they're doing. They know how to begin a project and they know how to end one. And I'm also impressed with how they can, you know, find homeowners that need help, package volunteers and place them where they need them. Really, I think it's uh, the hand of God kind of guiding my life and where I'm going to go. Um, hopefully, uh, this will lead me into uh, foreign aid. Um, I hope to get into medical school and uh, from there work with uh, international aid organizations taking care of the sick. I actually am planning on going to Toronto to get my master's in emergency management and disaster recovery. And so by being in this program, it's kind of the steps that will take me there.
cut.